Hello, my name is Bob Anderson, and I'm president of Star Performance Incorporated. We're a training and consulting organization based out of Minneapolis and St. Paul, Minnesota. I'm delighted to be here with you today to talk about community service during chaotic times. Um, I became aware of Ruritan National through my very longtime friend, Glenn Broadwater. And I'm glad to be here today to share some of my experiences that I've had in volunteering over the years. Now you're probably thinking, okay, who the heck is Bob Anderson? Or maybe you're thinking, why do I care who Bob Anderson is? Just a little bit of, of a background. Um, again, I've had this consulting company for 25 years, and we've had a lot of lifetime and longtime customers that we've built wonderful relations with. And I really believe that much of my business success has come from volunteering for nonprofit organizations in the past. Uh, many, many years ago, um, I was uh, part of the St. Paul Optimist Club. Many of you are probably familiar with that organization. Ended up becoming their per president. It was a great experience where I got to meet people. I got to see the value of giving of myself to help others, which in turn made me feel better about myself that really helped grow my business. Currently, I'm heavily involved in the hospitality business, and there's an organization called the uh, Hospitality Sales and Marketing Association International, and I've been involved with them for a long time. I was the local chapter president here, um, and I'm now on the sales advisory board with them, and that has helped me to give back to my industry, which in turn has given back to me, and probably the most rewarding volunteer that I've ever done is our HSMI chapter. We had a collegiate chapter uh, based in, although we were based in Minnesota, right on the borders of Wisconsin, there's a university called the University of Wisconsin in Menominee Stout College. And we had a collegiate chapter. And I will tell you, being involved in that has been one of the most rewarding things in my life. I have a number of young people that I got to know when they're in college and they're trying to figure out what they want to do in life. And we, we consulted them, we mentored them. And I can't tell you how many people that, uh, because of that experience in our association working with them, they are thriving. They're just successful inside hospitality, outside hospitality. So it's not just a seminar here. This is from my heart of what I've seen and experienced. I know what you're also thinking. Well, good for you, Bob. I'm glad you feel so good. Good for you. But you might be thinking, yeah, that's that's all fine and good, but I'm so busy working. Uh, I'm working, you know, we're working 45 hours a week, and and, and uh, to, to, we got to feed the family. Uh, kids don't want to go to college, and kids need braces, and, and I'm raising that family, and they've got soccer, and they got basketball, all these different things. I just don't know if I have time to volunteer, and I absolutely know how you feel. I absolutely do. And here's the reality. What I found out about volunteering, it's not how much time you put in, it's the time you put in, what do you give it, okay? And all of us lack extra time. We're not just sitting around watching Netflix all the time. Um, and, but here's what I also found, is there's five key benefits that will help you personally, professionally, and, and just feel good about yourself. So here's the five things why I love a volunteering. Number one, it's good for your health. I'm not saying it's going to save your life, but I'm saying it's a fact. It's been proven. It's been studied that being a part of an organization on a volunteer basis really does benefit you. One, it gives you a greater sense of purpose, which we're going to talk about a little bit later on. Having that sense of purpose um, and, of course, raising a family, working, having a business, all things, that's a purpose. But a purpose outside of yourself tends to help you feel better about yourself, which in, in very, uh, very much is measurable to help you have a better life. Uh, we find that people that volunteer are more motivated to live healthier. Uh, they sleep better, probably because they get up early, they work, and they go to kids' soccer games and stuff, and then maybe they have a volunteer meeting. Yes, there's some work involved, and you tend to eat better. I don't know how that happens, because, you know, on the run, you should see what I eat, but the reality is that's what the research says. We are more efficient with managing our schedule. When you volunteer, you have to become more management uh, or, or organized with your schedule. 
you only have so much. I've never met a person that has less than 24 hours a day or more than 24 hours a day. Everybody's got the same amount of time. So we have to pick and choose the things that have the most benefit. And we find that people that volunteer have to figure out how to take that to-do list and make it a get done list. Another benefit. Uh, also, link to better stress management. Uh, when you are volunteering, and you're organizing your time, believe it or not, even though you're probably a little bit more busy, you're actually less stressed because you're more organized because of how you have to plan. And we all know that stress is the number one cause of so many chronic diseases out there in this world today. So that's fact number one, it's good for your health. Fact number two, it's fun and feels so good. Uh, you help yourself when you're helping others in your community. It's such a wonderful, delicious, selfishly great feeling when you know you're giving of yourself to others. Uh, it gives you a little break from the normal grind, it's true. Kind of mixes it up a little bit, it's kind of fun. Take your uh, mind off that report you were gotta get done and all these other things you're supposed to do and you're gonna do tomorrow, but in that moment, you have a nice little bit of escape doing something that's beneficial to the community. It improves your awareness of the community. This is key, and, and this is something I found very, very important. Being actively involved in the community is different than simply living in the community. When I was the president of the Optimist Club, I lived in this area, but I wasn't really a part of this area. When I was volunteering, getting to know families, doing some of the charity things and volunteer things we did, I really got a sense of what this great collective soul of this community was. I'll never forget that. Provides a wonderful feeling of accomplishment when you see that a small investment of time, again, whether it's 20 minutes a week, whether it's two hours every other week, whatever it is, that little investment of time in your heart and your soul can have a huge positive impact on the community you live in. And we all know, part of the chaos in the world, a lot of communities are really struggling with that. This is a nice uh, uh, way of uh, having a sense of purpose to help with that. You never stop learning. You know, <clears throat> it is amazing. As I get older and I turn 61 in three days or four days, whatever that is, July 1st, okay? Don't send me a gift, please, that's all right. Um, I know that I'm craving learning more things about a variety of things. I don't know if that's just me or it's just maybe the natural, you know, evolution of life, but we can always learn something new and interesting and it's best to learn from other people. Also, there's probably skills that you have, things you know, hobbies that you enjoy. As you're getting to know people you're volunteering with, you're going to share your ideas, you're gonna share your knowledge. Maybe in, in Glenn Broadwater, he showed me about 40 years ago how to put a water heater in. So when Glenn called me, I'll never forget that. <laughs> uh, he showed me how to put a water heater in, okay? And, and, and when we share our knowledge while we're working with people in this, this great environment, you really realize just how smart you are. Make new friends. You can't put a value on that. You can't put a price on good friends. And again, when you're doing something not because you have to, because it's a job, or it's because you have to be at something because of a kid's activity, but you're there of your own d d choice, you make the best friends. Uh, you gain an even wider understanding of people of all walks of life. And boy, we all understand we need that more than ever. Learning different people with different traditions, different views in life, that's a very healthy thing. Another thing that's great, Everybody looks at Facebook, reconnecting with people off touch with. Maybe you've been in that community for a long time. Maybe you graduated from high school, or maybe you're new to the community, but you have other people that moved to that community you didn't know, and through this volunteering, you get reconnected with them. That is a very, very nice value of volunteering is that personal growth. Professional opportunities, I'm gonna be very careful on this. Volunteer for the right reason. But there is a benefit, a business benefit as well. Maybe you own a business. Maybe you are in some business that's looking for new customers. But again, I caution you, when I was with the Optimist Club or with HSMEI, those people that volunteered only to get business 
were kind of half in, half out. But what I found is those people that did it for the right reason. I'm going to go because I want to make my community better. I want to make this organization better. I want to give of myself. They always got more business. When you go with the right things, good things happen. Uh, build your network of friends, business associates, and prospective customers. Again, you've all heard the saying, people do business with people they like and trust. When you're working side by side with somebody, working on a project, a volunteer, some th type of thing, you're going to get to know people you like and trust. Those people will do business with you or refer people to you. Uh, I mentioned this before, to help out yourself, you do help yourself when you help others. Such an important part of it. Also, some of you, and there's nothing wrong with having a great network of people, maybe you're not a, a business owner, but maybe down the line, you want to search for a new connection, a new job. Maybe somebody that you work with has a business that's looking for people with your skills or knows somebody who does. There's nothing wrong with that. But again, volunteer for the right reason and other great benefits will come professionally as well. Change one person, you can change the world. And I'm not trying to sound like a Hallmark card here. Now, and I know some of you are going, oh, here it goes. That sounds a little cheesy. And you know, at one point in my life, I would feel the same way. But the more I work with people, get to know people, and have a positive effect people through my volunteering and through my business, it is the greatest thing in the world. And think of it this way. All of us probably had that one or two per people that we knew that they didn't even know it, or maybe they did know it, but they were our role model. How did they help you? Were, with with you, them being that role model, they probably helped you do things you wouldn't have done for yourself. And when you become the role model, one of the benefits is the greatest feeling of all. This happened to me about four years ago. A, a gentleman came up to me. And he goes, are you Bob Anderson? I said, yeah. He goes, I don't think you remember me. But years ago through this, uh, uh, the Optimist Club, you came and you gave a presentation at the school about business and things like this. And I'll never forget that. You don't know this, but that little presentation that you made as a volunteer made me think different. And now I have a business. What a great, great feeling. You can be that role model for somebody else. And, you know, at the end of the day, um, we all have to have that self-worth. Uh, at the end of the day, you got to be able to look at yourself in the mirror and say, I know I'm not perfect. I know I make mistakes. I drop the ball sometimes. Things don't always go the way I want them to. But deep down, if you can look yourself in the mirror and say, you know what? I like what I see. I am making a difference in this thing called the world. To me, that's a pretty darn good feeling. It really, really is. And finally, the big effects of little ripples. Again, you'll never know while volunteering and working with somebody, sharing your passion, sharing your knowledge. You'll never know that person that needed to hear what you're saying or get to know you for whatever reason that was happening in their lives. One little act could, could help your community avoid bad things in the future or, or help inspire others to do great things in your communities. The little things end up meaning the big things when it's done the right way. I want to thank you. I wish you all the very best of luck. Um, if you ever have any questions, feel free to call me or send me uh, a, an email, bob at Star Performance Inc. All the best, everybody. Thank you. Bye now.